it's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we got a beer from Alchemy and it's the Juice Do It. This is a guava and blood orange IPA coming in at 4.7% ABV in a 330 milliliter bottle described as a refreshing IPA. It's in a dark brown bottle, so you're not going to get any of that kind of light strike coming through. Uh, they're based in Scotland. This came in the same box as the Broughton Brewery beers, as, you know, this sort of kind of brewery. Uh, Wee Jock and Old Jock. You've probably heard of Old Jock from Broughton. So what I'm guessing here is that you've got Broughton's more traditional beers there. And this is more of their kind of like quirky craft side of their market. Today I'm going to be pairing it with a pack of McCoy's Epic Eats Chip Shop Curry Sauce. Look at that. And it's a new, new range of uh, crisps there at, at, at McCoy's. So I'm going to be pairing those together or these together. Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. A little bit of smoke on the bottle opening, beer in the glass. Let's go with, let's go with this one. Guava, blood orange. Um, there's a big part of me that hopes that this brewery have used Oh my goodness me. Oh my goodness me. Well, that's answered that question, haven't it? That's answered that question. I was hoping they were going to use hops to flavour, you know, that guava and fleshy blood orange can be produced with hops. Uh, much more down my kind of path of uh, beer, if you like. And then there's another side of brewing, this kind of like, I call it 2022 2023 style of brewing where they're chucking actual fruit in beer and my goodness me look at that the sediment is there that is one of the most sediment filled beers i think i've ever looked at good levels of carbonation one finger pinky head but the suspension look at the sediment suspension in that glass it's really kind of almost hard to describe it blimey look at that it's like slowly moving around in the glass <laughs> right it's really hazy really kind of full of sediment and it's probably like a pinky peachy color let's get the aroma Yeah, I, I kind of describe these beers as kind of alcoholic fruit juice. Alcoholic fruit juice, just like. <sighs> zesty, zesty, zesty. But it did, yeah, it just it just smells of guava and fleshy blood orange. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Oh, ho oh, oh. Whoa. Hard to describe that one. Really quite, it's really quite aggressive with the carbonation. You put the beer in the mouth and it's kind of like really hissing and fizzing and and you know those crackle pop 
I used to have them in, in it, eat them in the 1980s as a kid, early 1990s. Those kind of like, you put those sweets in your mouth and it all kind of crackles and does weird things. And you're like, oh, almost like, feels like it's jumping up into your brain. It's almost kind of, the, the, the carbonation is that aggressive. It's almost like it's doing that to you. It's that kind of like hiss and fizz and boom and bang and and then it's fruit and I, I don't think I've ever bought a guava fruit in my life I, I'm not even sure if we can buy them in the supermarkets I've never bought one so I can't really comment on what a guava fruit tastes like but I quite like a, a blood orange um, I suppose there's a little bit of blood orange in there but it's mostly this kind of like guava it must be guava flavor because that's what they're kind of talking about on the label um, this, but the, the thing that the thing that worries me about these beers is I never get any malt I never really get I never get any kind of lovely kind of malty flavors and I never really get so much bitterness from the hops. And for me, that's the, that's the backbone of any beer, isn't it? If you're going to call it a beer, what are they, let's, let's make sure they've called it a beer. Some of these, some of these people, well, yeah, they've called it an IPA. So my, my issue with this is that IPA is good mouthfeel, lovely kind of fruity flavours but naturally fruity flavours from the hops and then some bitterness from the hops and then some of that malt flavour but you're not really getting any of that it's sort of this is this is more of a fruit as I mentioned hot sunny day in the garden I imagine that'll go down really well I imagine that will go down a treat with most people barbecue lit, that type of thing. But for me, for me, I struggle to call it a beer. I struggle to call it an IPA. It's about as far away from an IPA as an IPA could be. Let's try these Epic Eats chip shop curry sauce first. These feel like they feel like there's much in there, but it's 25 grams. I'm used to McCoys, you know, when they give you a big bag of crisps, McCoys, don't they? Uh, there's a look at them. Crinkle cut crisps. Chip shop curry. Yeah. Mmm. Fruity chip shop curry. You know the curry with raisins in, in the chip shop? Mm. Yeah, these are them. These are them. Notice I'm putting a big handful in my mouth each time. Mm. They are good. Nice and peppery as well. A little bit of spicy chili. Raisin chip shop curry. Some pepper. Crunchy crisps. They're brilliant. They're brilliant. Crisps. Nine out of ten. Nine out of ten for the crisps. For the beer, mm, yeah, I'm struggling. Um, I do appreciate the fact that Broughton decided to send me a big box of beer. I've liked a lot of their more traditional stuff. I've liked some of their IPAs, actually, that they've sent. But for me, this is not for me. <clears throat> this is definitely not for me. 
and I hope they understand my honesty and I hope they accept my honesty. This is a 5 out of 10. 5 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.